record crowd of 14,000 faithful attended the Diocese of Charlotte 11th Annual Eucharistic Congress September 11 and 12 at the Charlotte Convention Center. The Saturday procession began with a Eucharistic procession in the streets of Uptown Charlotte. The Most Reverend Peter J. Jugas, Bishop of Charlotte, hoisted a blessed sacrament mounted on a gold monstrance and led the more than 9,000 people that participated in the procession, which lasted an hour and a half. The procession ended in Hall A of the Convention Center for a Holy Hour of Eucharistic Adoration and a homily by Cardinal Timothy Dolan, head of the Archdiocese of New York. I came because of my particular affection, affection for and esteem for your good bishop, Bishop Peter Jugas. Just a sign, yes, but not just a sign. Is the Holy Eucharist a symbol? Yes, but not just a symbol. Is the Holy Eucharist a sacrifice? Yes, but not only a sacrifice. Is the, is the Holy Eucharist a meal? Yes, but not just a meal. <laughs> it's the real thing. Garner Dolan peppered his remarks with jokes and anecdotes in his usual effusive style, garnering repeated applause and laughter from the energetic crowd. But he said basically every Jewish holy day comes down to the same three things. They tried to kill us. God saved us. Let's eat. <laughs> That's what Jesus says at the Holy Eucharist. They tried to kill me. God, my Father, saved me. Let's eat. All right? Because the Mass is our sacred meal. And say it with me. O sacrament most holy. O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. After the homily, Bishop Jugas did the benediction and blessed a standing room only crowd of faithful adorers of the Blessed Sacrament. <laughs> Following the holy hour, adults as well as young Catholics had the opportunity to participate in different talks. The Congress offered tracks in English, Vietnamese, Korean, and Spanish. Los latinos estamos renovando la iglesia. Y en Eucaristía, milagro de amor. Eucaristía, presencia del Señor. 82 Catholic exhibitors, ranging from Catholic books and videos to pro-life apostolates and other services, offer participants a wide option to choose from. I think it's wonderful to see the church in motion because here people are at prayer, they're looking for good books for their family and videos, they're getting religious articles, they're meeting priests and bishops and sisters, and we're meeting everybody that's here to learn more about their faith or they're new to the faith. Bishop Jugas was the main celebrant during the Mass at the culmination of the Congress. He noted, We have come to the high point of the Eucharistic Congress, the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. All of the events of the Congress led up to this point. During his homily, Bishop Jugas told the crowd that their faith in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist can sustain them in these challenging times for all people of goodwill. Christ is present, the whole Christ his body, blood, soul, and divinity, his real presence. Acknowledging the large presence of Latino Catholics, which make up more than half of the Congress attendees each year, Bishop Jugas also preaches homily in Spanish. Rico De Silva, CatholicNewsHerald.com.